Ashley asked me if I'd write her a song, so I wrote her a song for her awesome show. Her show is cool and it's lots of fun, so get your popcorn ready, everyone. Who will she interview on her show today? The Jonas Brothers and Nick. Hi, Michelle. welcome to the it's Awesome Ashley awesome Show. Today is my 100th hun show. I can't believe I did 100 shows. That's crazy. 100 shows, Ashley. <laughs> 100 shows. I can't, that you're like in, you're in rare company. I am in. Do you know who, I mean, let's, let's think about it. In, in all of history, who has 100 shows? Who has done 100 Probably shows? Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen DeGeneres. Oprah. Oprah. Oprah Winfrey. She has, she has 101 shows. You have 100. You're gonna 101. Be, you're going to be passing her very soon. You must feel, that's, that's pretty exciting. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Absolutely. Mr. Ben Fogg. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so wait, so, so how many times have I been on the show? Ten times. Ten times. Wow. So wait, so. Today make, does today make ten times? I think so. I think I had heard some, heard some of the uh, wonderful folks here in the studio who, who, who uh, put this show together. I think I had heard them say that this is the 10th time. You so, actually helped me start the Awesome Ashley Show. No, no, no. Like, I, you, you <laughs> helped me. Uh, you helped me. I did not help you. You, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have a tremendous show. You have a tremendous following. Thank you. But let's just do some simple math here. So, well, actually, it's not that simple <laughs> math. I, I'm not very good at math. But, so if, if you've done 100 shows, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you on the spot here. If you've done 100 shows and I've done 10, what, what percentage of shows have I done? I don't know, I'm not really. Like the Jeopardy theme music? 10%. 10%, right? Am I right? I hope I'm right. If not, I'm. I'm uh, yeah, 10% of the shows. That's awesome. I feel so fortunate to have been on your show once, never mind 10 times. So, 10 times. So I hope that I get to be on the show 10 more times. Oh, I'm sure you will. I hope. Next, like, I hope when, you know, I got white hair, long beard, you know, a yeah, walking with a cane. You're starting to grow when you're here. Yeah. My, yeah, my girlfriend, well, at first she's like, you need to shave that. And then the other day she was like, ah, it's, ah, it's kind of growing on me. And then I was like, well, it's, it's growing on me too. So it's literally growing on me too. So, so how, is, how, how is things with you? Things have been pretty good. Things have been well. I started a, I started a new job. Uh, not too long ago, started a new job in 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 late August. I'm a I'm I'm a school teacher, teaching eighth grade science and social studies, which that's awesome. Which has been a lot of fun. Yeah, eighth grade. They are um they're cra they're wild and crazy. They're wild <laughs> and crazy, but they're a lot of fun. Um, and I yeah, I mean I really I really enjoy it. So I'm having a really good time. What's the best part of teaching for you? Best part of teaching. Hmm, that's a really good question. Um, I feel like the best part of teaching for me is, you know, when I was in school, I, I really enjoyed being a student in school. Um, you know, I, I really have, have a great appreciation for the many teachers that I've had along the way, the many coaches that I've had who have helped me out. Um, and so for me, being a teacher, uh, I feel like the most rewarding thing is that just to think that I could possibly have a positive impact on a kid's life um, in the same way that so many teachers have done for me, it just it, it, it makes me feel good. Yeah. Now, do you still do your music too, Ben and I, Peanut Butter Rock? I do, problem? yeah, I do. I, 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 it's actually good that I'm a teacher now because although I don't have quite as much time during the during the week to do music stuff because I'm so busy with planning lessons and and also too my. Girlfriend's a teacher, and so she she told me before, like your first year of teaching, it's it's probably going to be your hardest, your most difficult year because there's just so much extra work involved in like learning learning how to teach, learning how to uh, you know manage a classroom, learning how to create lesson plans, and so you know once I have two or three years under my belt, I'll have all that information and experience to draw from. from. But but I'll have more time in the summer to do music and to do some of the stuff that that, that I've been doing. So yes, I still I still do it. So. What does what does she teach? Uh, she teaches high school English at Freeport High School. Yep. So she teaches, she works with like seniors, but she also works with freshmen. So I work with eighth graders, she works with freshmen, so I'm sure we see... That's a whole different range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but she's, she's a great resource too because, um, you know, I come home every day and I always have questions about teaching. And usually what she does is she's like, well, 
All right, you can, you can ask me questions up until dinner time. Then after dinner, no more teaching questions. <laughs> and then you can, you can ask me tomorrow. So yeah, because I, I have a lot of questions because I'm trying to learn as much as I can about. about How does about the grading questions. factor work in grade, like when you grade papers and stuff? Yeah, that's a really good question. So when, when did you graduate from high school? 2009. <laughs> I thought it was like 1908. <laughs> uh, 2009? Okay. I graduated in 1908. Um, so grading is a little bit different in the, in the state of Maine now. And I don't know that all schools have implemented this, but we used to grade, you know, A, B's, C's, D's. Yep. I'm sure you got mostly A's, yep. right? I can't mostly imagine A's you and getting, B's. Okay, mostly A's and B's. I got a lot of, a lot of D's. And, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't get D's. Are you kidding me? I got, I, got, I, got, I got A's and B's. I tried really hard, though. I, was, I took school very, very seriously. Yeah. But as far as grading goes, yeah, it's different now. So they, they use what's called standards-based grading. Have you ever heard of that? No. no. So what they do is rather than, you know, um, you know, grade a, grade a paper um, and give it an A or a B or a C, what they do is when, when teachers create assignments, you have, to, um, you have to, you know, keep track of what standard um, that you want the students or, or students to, to learn. So for instance, like right now I'm teaching social studies, we're talking about the Revolutionary War. I, I think it's pretty interesting stuff. A lot of the eighth graders, I don't know if they think it's quite as interesting. But so what I'm trying to teach them right now is are, are, are some of the events that led up to uh, the colonists revolting against Great Britain. And, you know, why did they revolt? What, what caused the war for independence? And so when you, when you grade things, you know, I might give an assignment or a quiz or a test. And so there's different things that I'm measuring to see if they can understand. Okay, so here's why... The Revolutionary War happened. Here's why, um, you know, the, the the colonists were upset. So you're actually like looking at specific things, and then what you do is based on a rubric. I don't know if you know. You know what? Have you ever heard that <laughs> no. word? I know they're coming out with all these fancy <laughs> words and educate rubric. I, mean, I don't know. But what it is is it's basically this this uh, you know, it's it's like it's like a map of you know. Uh, you know, so you got you got a one, you got a two, a three, and a four, and you can either meet the expectation or you fall short of the standard or you can exceed it. And so you grade kids on a on a scale of one, two, three, or four. And so a four would be kind of like an A, you know, or or a three would be like a B, and they meet the standard. So it's 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 different. Um, I kind of like it, but also I'm a first year teacher, so. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of teachers who've been teaching for a long time, I think some teachers tend to be a little frustrated with the system because it's they're kind of changing the way things are done. But I think what it does is it, it, it's, it's a little bit more accurate in measuring if a student is learning specific things or not. So. And you teach science too, right? I teach science as well. Yep. What's I, your favorite one to teach? I think I'm more of a social studies social studies guy. Um, but yeah, I teach eighth grade science and social studies. Um, eighth grade science, we're doing a lot of stuff with physical science. No, know, so no dissecting frogs. No, not <laughs> dissecting frogs. We are dissecting human brains, which is, <laughs> no, it's, it's none of that. Just, um, you know, in, in science, uh, we've done a lot lately on, you know, finding velocity of an object and speed and acceleration. We've talked about distance and displacement and talked about different types of energy. Um, so a lot of things like that. Um, we'll probably go a little bit into space science, astronomy, stuff like that. But um, eighth grade, it's it's tough to do experiments at, at the eighth grade level because it's it's really quite it's really quite interesting because you have you have eighth grade. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure you know, but um, eighth grade. Uh, Girls tend to, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Girls tend to mature a little bit faster than boys. boys. Yeah. And so there's a lot of, I feel like with my eighth grade student population, there's a lot of uh, kids who I don't feel like they're quite ready to be mixing chemicals and to, you know, using glass beakers and things like that. Um, you know, so it's just kind of funny to sometimes during class, you know, there's so, some of the girls seem like they're, they, they could, they could you know, be in high school where some of the boys that I work with, I feel like, you know, I, I don't know if they're in fourth grade or if, or if they're in eighth grade, but, <laughs> but they're all fun. But yeah, I, I think that I prefer the social studies better. And I think it's because my undergrad degree is in psychology. And I feel like when you, when you, when you look at history, it really is kind of a, a look into, into uh, people and personality and the psychology of things. And so, and so I am enjoying that. Do you have any poems coming out for Ben and the Peanut Butter Problem? So I don't have, I haven't had a chance to work too much on that lately. What I've been doing a, a lot of lately is, so at, at school, so I work at Socopee Valley Middle School. It's a, it's a great school, home of the Hawks, home of the Hawks. So yeah, so, so the colors are, are blue and white. 
Um, and one thing that they do every day, which I think is outstanding, and you would probably appreciate this too, is they do a thing called the morning news. So they have a studio, it's not quite, not quite this big, but it's a nice little studio, and every morning they have eighth grade students, there's probably about 10 of them, and um, do they like do the weather and stuff? They do the news. So yeah, so so like they'll, there's there's usually only two or three students who are presenting the news, but that switches each day. So like one day, you know, two students might do it, but then the next day, two different students will do it. But then the other students are at work in the background, kind of like the Steves are here. You know, they're doing the five, you know five four three two one, and they're checking the different monitors That's and really the lights cool, and though. the mics and. Yeah, so they do this thing called the morning news. They they do the weather. They talk about okay for hot lunch today we're having spaghetti and meatballs <laughs> and it's gonna be delicious. And they talk about different things. They talked about about the election. They talk about sports. They talk about upcoming events at the school, school dances. Um, so I've been fortunate enough to have played on the morning news. Uh, I played my guitar a couple weeks ago for Halloween. I and love they Halloween. Want me to play a. a a Thanksgiving song, so I just feel so fortunate that I've had that that, that they've asked me to to play. That's awesome. On the morning news, oh yeah, it's a, it's a blast. Yeah, it's a blast. So so I, I'm I'm working on some lyrics to play a Thanksgiving song on the morning news. So and I try to incorporate things about Sakopee Valley, you know, so stuff about the Hawks or stuff about the sports teams or That's stuff cool about. That's cool though. Yep, yep. So it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah, I love Halloween. I dressed up this year. Yeah, what'd you dress up as? <laughs> Batwoman. Batwoman. All right. So, like, what? So, what? What did your costume like? What? Did, I had the, like what did, what the pink hair, and that one has pink hair. hair? <laughs> yeah. Well, my I wouldn't, I wouldn't my type of bat woman has pink hair. Okay. And uh, I had like sparkles. Yeah. I had a sparkle keep, and I still have a sparkles everywhere from. Oh, my, bat from my... woman. I'm thinking cat woman. No. Because I, I don't really follow the the bats and the cats and the and the rats and all that <laughs> stuff. But didn't didn't Halle Berry wasn't she wasn't she cat woman? I think so. Okay. I have a little crush on Halle Berry. We'll, we'll keep that secret. But anyway, um, that's cool. So Batwoman. So did you have like a I don't know, like the you know like the Bat Girl? Yeah, I had like that. I don't even know things what they are. going up. But, uh, like I don't even know what those are. Are those, are those ears? I had, like earrings. Did, you had earrings. Yes. Because bats. I mean, some bats wear earrings, right? I had a spider ring. Oh, nice. So did you go around? And you get some candy? No, I just uh, we went down to Summer Street and looked at the houses down Summer Street because usually. They decorate for Halloween. Yeah. Like they close down yeah. the whole summer street in Candy Book. So for Halloween or for or just candy in general, because I, I love candy. What's like what's your favorite candies to eat? Peanut M and M's. Oh, those are good. <laughs> That's my girlfriend's favorite. Peanut M and M's. Um, so you just eat them. You just eat them plain. Just peanut M and M's. Yes. So what my girlfriend likes to do. She's she's very interesting. She's. Uh, she's she, she's yeah she's definitely interesting. But she likes to she'll make popcorn. And put them in. Put them in. She the won't popcorn. put them in. She won't put the peanut M in, in the popcorn because she's like worried that they'll like fall to the bottom and they'll melt and they'll they'll get on the. So what she does is she'll eat like a handful of popcorn and then she'll have a couple one peanut M and M and then and so that's what she does. Yeah. And she should mix it together though. Oh, uh, she's yeah she's she, has, she antics. I'm telling you, a lot of antics. This one here, I found I found a good one. But um, but but she's really funny too because I don't know about you, but like you, you ever buy a bag of peanut M and M's just like the. You know, like the regular size bag that yeah. you get when you go through the grocery store. If I buy a bag of peanut M and M's, I eat the whole bag. <laughs> Me too. You right, right? She'll buy a bag of M and M's, right? And she'll eat like two. I don't know how she does it. She'll eat two, and then like a week later, the bag's still there at the house in the in the cupboard. You know, but she'll eat like two at a time. I don't know how she does. It. <laughs> Mine would be gone. I eat a like, hundred at a time. Mine would be gone if like. Yeah. In, in an hour after. I don't even I chew them. I don't even chew peanut M and M's. I just, I just swallow a bag of peanut M and M's, you know. Yeah, I like peanut M and M's a lot. I also like they ha they make like the peanut butter M and M's. Oh, I haven't tried those yet. And I think they make pretzel ones too. I've never tried those, but those sound good to me. And I like Snickers too. Snickers are good. Yeah, yeah. So Halloween was good. So do you have any fun plans for Thanksgiving? Uh, not sure yet. You don't know. But I met Andy Grammer. Andy Grammer. So tell me about this fellow. I'm not extremely familiar with Andy Grammer, but and I have like I have like a major crush on him. So I was like, oh my god. About, about how old is Andy Grammer? I don't know, but like, I was saying his thirties probably. His thirties. So he's like so he's like my age. Mm -hmm. But I had no idea. I, like this is a whole surprise. Like where at, did you meet him? In Portland. At like the what's it called the? Like where the boats are and stuff. Oh, he was just in. Did he? Oh, oh, that's where the concert was. Yeah, it was. Yes. Uh, it was outside. Oh, very cool. But I didn't know I like 
I didn't even know about. Like, it was a surprise. You didn't know that you were going to the concert? No, I had no idea. Did your grandparents take you? Yeah. They put a blindfold over your, over your eyes? <laughs> no. Or did you just wear your cat, your, your, your Batwoman <laughs> costume? <laughs> no. You didn't wear your Batwoman costume? No, because this is in September. Oh, okay. So, what yeah. What did you wear? I had, like, this. It said, uh, you got this. It was all silver, and yeah. it was sparkly, yeah. and I had a hat. And nice. now I call it my Andy Graham hat. So. So, what kind of music does he play? Um, like pop kind of music. Pop. Does he pl Does he play an instrument or does he just sing? He sings. He sings. So does he? Ha he has like a band that plays with him. Yeah. Huh. And I was in front row. That was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's really. He cool. sings. You have to look it up on YouTube. He sings "Honey, I'm Good." Honey, uh, I'm good. Yeah, that's what he's. That's what he's best known for. Is the song about like meatloaf where, where, <laughs> where she's like, would you like some more meatloaf? And he's like, honey, I'm good. No, it's not about that. Okay. No. Nope. Let's check it out. Man. Yeah. Andy Grammer. And then I he never heard of him. And then he sings another one, Keep Your Head Up. Keep Your Head Up. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like he has a lot of good messages in his song. Yep. Honey, I'm good. Keep your head up. Look both ways. So you have a song called Look Both Ways? <laughs> no. no. I should write a song about Look, look Both Ways. Um, that's cool. Andy Grammer. I'll have to check him out. Yeah. So what else is new? Um, I'm back at the gym, which is cool. Yeah. What are you What are you What are you working on there? Um, just upper body stuff. Yep. So like like push exercises. Yep. Yeah. So. Do you like doing that? Yeah. Yeah. You feel like you're getting you're getting in shape. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're getting strong. That's good. I had I don't, I don't know if I told you this, but I had rotator cuff surgery on my left shoulder, um, back in April, and so for like eight or nine weeks I had this sling that was you know. Well, it's, there was like a big pad here, and the sling was wrapped around my body. That must have been hard for you to like just use one one arm. Yeah, it was very difficult. It was hard to get dressed. It was hard to take a shower. It it hurt bad. And so what would happen too sometimes is, um, you know how like when you if you touch something hot, yeah, your natural reaction is to is to pull back, yeah. right? Well, a couple times and I didn't do it on purpose, but a couple times like this this hand this this hand because as I you know a couple weeks in two three four four weeks in I started to be able to use my hand yep. but I couldn't move my arm and so um, but like a couple times I, I touched something hot and my natural reaction was to pull back mm -hmm. and so I'd pull back but they had just done the surgery on my shoulder and I would scream it, it hurt bad it hurt really bad so um, but it's still I mean it's not quite right yet I can't I can't do push-ups not that I ever did a lot of push-ups, but I can't, I can't do certain things that require a lot of, um, a lot of force. But, um, but it's getting better, and I'm so glad I had it done, but I was in pain for a couple of years, and finally the doctor... Uh, the, get it done. Well, the doctors in Portland finally did, it, did an MRI, and, and, and they, they found a 90% tear in my rotator cuff, and, and so they, we had the surgery done, and so it feels, it feels good. It feels, it feels a lot better than it, than it That's did. That's good. Yeah, yeah, so I'm glad. But How's your brother doing? I see he's, is he on vacation? Yeah, Matt is in Costa Rica. Yep. With all birds, right? And bird, like, because there's birds there and frogs and... Yeah, I think they do have birds he's in like, Costa Rica. Yeah, because he's yeah. doing videos of like all the frogs and yes. stuff, everything. My mom was telling me about this. I haven't actually seen any videos yet because the videos are on, they're Facebook. on Facebook. Yep. And I haven't had a chance to go on Facebook all that much lately, but... My mom was telling me that, oh, you gotta, you gotta check Facebook out. Matt's, he's going wild. He's, he's surfing, he's posting videos, he's, yeah. Um, yeah, I think he, so this is like his, I guess like he and his wife, they never like truly went on, went on a honeymoon. And so this is like their honeymoon. So. That's awesome though. Yeah, so he's doing well. My other brother Chuck is doing very well. Chuck lives in Saco and, and he has um, a daughter who turns one this Thursday. Her birthday is one day before my birthday. So her happy, birthday is the 17th. Happy early birthday. Thank you very much. I feel I'm going to be 37. 37. And you're 26? I'm 26. So you're doing like the online dating? <laughs> no. No? Stay away from that? Yep. That's how I met my girlfriend. Really? Online dating. Yeah. Yeah. We went out. Okay. Where did you guys where, like? Where did you guys meet? Like your first one? first date? Yeah. Chuck, Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> no, you don't believe me? <laughs> no. The first date. This is bad if I don't remember, right? If she's watching this, she's <laughs> yes. gonna be like, "Are you kidding me?" You're... We went to um, there's a place in Portland on Congress Street. It's called like 
it's a number. It's like 308 or 508 or 30. I don't know. It's on Congress Street. I, I honestly, I don't. I don't know what it's called. But it's it's a it's a little like restaurant pub that's on Congress Street. And it's right near the the Gorham Bike and Ski. I think it might be called like 308. Um, so we went there. And that was our first date. And there almost wasn't a second date. There almost wasn't because I don't know. I guess. She thought that I was all over the place. This is when I was younger. You know, I was I'm crazy. I've kind of I've kind of settled down. I've, I'm not I'm not quite as, you know. I used to be doing crazy things, sleeping out of my. Remember when I was like sleeping out of my car? <laughs> yeah. You know, I was I was nuts. You know. Now I'm I'm a little older. I'm a little bit more reserved. I, I I sleep in a bed now instead of in my car. So you know. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. a step up. Yo, it is a step up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a there was a time when I was like 23, 24. I was living in Washington State. And I lived in this little apartment, and I lived with my friend Jake, the, the guy who's who's from this town here. And and uh, we didn't even ha we didn't have beds. We didn't have we didn't have any furniture. All we we I mean we go to the grocery store, we get our groceries, and then at night we just lay on the floor. I'd like roll up a towel, use that for a pillow, and I'd have a blanket. But that that was like it. a campout type thing. Yeah, just but but we rented an apartment. Like we had an apartment. But like if we were like oh yeah you got you know if we met like met friends yeah oh, yeah you guys should come over sometime and watch a football game like we don't, there's nothing to do in our apartment like there's just it's a, just a room with nothing you can't watch anything there's no TV you know so yeah that was crazy we were we were young and young and free you know as they say yeah so what else is new well I went to Connecticut and I went to the majestic aquarium majestic aquarium yeah and I got to see um, whales and Penguins and dolphins. And dolphins. The majest I've never heard of that. It's is it as big as? Is it it's bigger? pretty big. It's really it's awesome. Like the Boston Aquarium. I think it's actually bigger it's than the, the Boston. Boston. It's called the Majestic Aquarium. Yeah. It, it was. It was worth the. It was worth the go. Yes, it was. It yeah, was awesome. Check that out. What's your favorite uh, marine life? Marine. Marine mammal. Marine um. Life. The. 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 The whale. Like the whale. Yeah. The yeah. white whale. I the white whale. Yeah. I forgot, white whale. Yeah, I forgot what his name. Yeah. They name it, but that was pretty cool. That is, that is. I actually have a picture of it on my Facebook. Ah, I'll have to check it's it like out. our cover my cover photo. Yeah. The white whale. Um I like I like dolphins. Dolphins are cool. Seals too. And I saw seahorses. Seahorses. That was cool. Yeah. That's really cool. I'll have to check that out sometime. And sharks. Yeah, sharks are scary. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Unless, what, what's I like Bruce. The, what's his name? He's on Finding Nemo, right? Isn't there a shark called Bruce on Finding yes, Nemo? Yes, there is. Did you see Finding Dory? That's Didn't. pretty. That's pretty cool. It's pretty good. Yeah. I, I haven't been to the. When's the last time you went? To, you went to the movies? Uh, I haven't been to the movies. In I such went. A long time. You know what's funny is I went to go see Patrick Dempsey's new movie. Ah uh, yes, Patrick Dempsey. Yes. You like him too, Andy yes. Grammer. I remember when you used to like me. You used to <laughs> like. You know, now I'm I'm too old. You'll always be my favorite. Person. Really? Yeah. You'll be my favorite. Too, actually, <laughs> you're the best. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think what else is what 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 else I've been up to. So just teaching school, mm, hanging out with with my girlfriend and Frank. Frank Frank Beagle. Do you like having a dog? I love. Aren't them. they Aren't they cool? Dogs are the best. I li there's a lot of people that I like in this world, but I don't know about you, but I like dogs more than people. <laughs> I do. I'm sorry, America. I apologize. <laughs> I do. I like. The, I think dogs are, dogs. They just. They love you. They don't care. They don't care if you're young, you're old, you're big, you're small, you're black, you're white. They just. They. They love you. And so I like. I like dogs. I like dogs a lot. If I could, I. I, I often wonder, like, what, what do dogs do, like, when their when their owners, you know, go to work. I always yeah. wonder that too. Yeah, they like, do. Yeah. do they like, talk to them? I don't know. <laughs> Really don't know. Yeah. yeah. No, dogs are. I think dogs are one of the most peaceful, one of the most peaceful animals. They're really great. Yeah. But yeah, I talk to Frank all the time. What what I do sometimes is I talk to my girlfriend through Frank. That's funny. So I'll be like, I don't know, Frank. What do you think? Oh, she wants, she wants, she wants me to make dinner tonight. I don't know. I don't know, Frank. I don't know about that. Oh, oh she's mad now for. Uh, you know. So sometimes like we we will communicate through through Frank. I, I talk to Romo too. Pro people probably think that's weird, but yeah. No, I, yeah, dogs are the best. Dogs are really cool. So you've done a hundred shows. Yes. You can do a hundred more. <laughs> so maybe like five years from now, we'll be sitting here. Maybe I could be on your two hundredth show. That'd be cool. That would be cool. How 
How do you, you must feel great about doing 100 shows. It feels awesome. Like, I can't believe I did 100 shows. Like, I... <laughs> did you ever think back in... When was your first show? Remember when it was? 2009. Yeah, I think, I think your grandparents had said it was, like, June 8th. June 8th, 2000, June 8th, 2009. 2009. Yep. So back... We were, like... Remember, both of us were, like, shaking. We didn't know what to do. Petrified. I was, like... I was sweating. I was stirring. I was, I was a mess. Yeah. Uh... Well, you know, back back that that day, two th you know, in, in June two thousand nine, did you ever think then that you know, I, you know, holy cow, like I'm gonna I'm gonna do a hundred shows one day? I never thought I'd get to a hundred shows. No, life isn't life funny. It is. How like you just never know what it's go you know what it's gonna lead to. Um, I mean, I remember back when I, I I didn't start playing music until I was like in my early twenties, and um, I don't know. I just knew that I liked music, but I didn't really know what it was going to lead to or and I you know now like being a teacher at a school and having opportunities to to you know uh, to like share some of the stuff and to come up with little little tunes for the kids that, during during lessons sometimes if we're talking about science or um, it's just it's great so just never really knowing what the things that you do in life one day can 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 lead to yeah I never thought I'd get to 100 shows no. like and I have a lot of followers followers on Facebook yeah. too. Like, even when I go to Walmart, they're like, I, "You're an awesome master from the awesome master show." Like, I never. Yeah. Like. Oh, I bet people love to see you out, out in public. Do you like sign autographs sometimes? <laughs> no. Nobody's ever asked you for an autograph. Nope. Oh, well, I'm gonna get one today. <laughs> I'm gonna get one today. Yeah. Um. I, yeah, I think it's great. I think it's great. Hundred shows. You should be very, very proud. I am very, that's, very proud. It's quite an accomplishment. And and I hope you've thanked. Your wonderful staff here. Thank you guys so much for all you do. Yeah. Steve and Steve back there. And Tony. Because they have and to Tony put up with you every day, right? Yes. Because I, this is what I hear. I hear sometimes you can be a little, little bossy. <laughs> I want some peanut M&Ms. And where's my, where's my Pepsi Cola? I want some Sprite. <laughs> oh, Sprite. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't actually hear that. But yeah. No, they're, they're absolutely great. I, I can I can imagine how you guys really enjoy working together all the time. So yeah, it's really fun. They're pretty they're pretty funny guys. Yep, they're like uh, I don't know what they're like. They're funny jokesters. Though. They are jokesters. Do they ever do pranks? Yes, all do the they? time. Like on you or on each other or on each other. They do. Yeah, I can see that. I can see them doing doing pranks on each other. Yeah, yeah, that is funny. I'm trying to think what else is what else is new. Um, hmm. Teaching. How's Matt doing with his music? He's doing he's doing well. Yeah, he runs a music school in Portland, uh, so he's he's very busy with that. Um, yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. And he's got a daughter now, right? He has a daughter. Yeah, his daughter will be one in February. Yeah, so I'm an I have two nieces and one nephew. Yeah, my nephew is he's uh, like he's nine. And then I have a niece who will be one in, uh, in, in a week, and then another one who will be one in another week, uh, in a, a couple months. So, yeah, yeah. And Michelle and I are doing well. She's, she still puts up with me. That's good. Yeah, yeah. But we get along well. We both teach now, so we have the same schedule. Um, yeah, she teaches. And that's cool. You guys help each other out, too, like with, less, like, with lessons. And yeah, yeah. Because, like you said, it was, it's your first year back. I mean... Yeah. Teaching. So. Yeah, it's my first year, and so it's it's there's a lot of work that teachers do, and it's you know, um, I think sometimes people think, ah, oh, you know, it's it's so easy to teach, but I mean, if you think about it, like you you have to go into a, in, into classrooms each day, sometimes twenty kids, twenty five kids, and not only do you have to manage classroom behavior, which you know some kids they 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 know how to behave and they have they have uh, a great respect for for their teachers, but a lot of kids, they, they, they struggle in that, in that area. You know, they don't, they don't always make uh, the best, the best choices. And so trying to manage a classroom of, of, of students, especially, you know, especially eight, eighth graders who, uh, that, that can, that can be challenging at times. And then also you're tasked with trying to teach them content and to help them learn. And another thing that I've, that I've noticed is that I feel like a lot of kids, um, I feel like a lot of kids sometimes they they tend to give up very very quickly if they don't if they don't know how to do something if they don't understand how to do it yeah if they don't understand or if they, or if it's hard you know I feel like a lot of times I I'll hear kids say oh this is this is hard I don't want to do this and so I'm sure you can speak to how I mean you can't you can't give up you know 
You gotta, yeah. you gotta be and put your best effort, effort forward, you know? You gotta keep going. Yeah, yeah, I mean, absolutely, you know? Because if you give up, what happens? You just, there's nothing. There's nothing, right? So it, that, I feel like part of, part of the, of the joy of, of, of life is kind of that, is that process of, of, um, you know, just waking up and trying and failing. I think, you know, I think when we're young, sometimes we, we think that it's bad to fail, but I feel like the more that I fail, you know, when I fail, then I learn, okay, so here's the things that I'm, that I'm doing well, the things that I'm failing at, here's the things that I need to work on. And I think that's how you improve, you know, because you have to figure out what you need to improve upon in order to, in order to get better. So, yeah. That's a good theory. Yeah, maybe I need to write this down. <laughs> yeah. I already forgot what I said, but maybe I can <laughs> write, write a book one day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Thanksgiving coming up, Christmas. Christmas soon. is coming up. I don't even want to like, think about Christmas. Like. What you, like, what's something that you're going to ask for, for Christmas this year? Uh, what's like a big, like, what's, uh, what's Probably that? Patrick Dempsey's movie. What's the movie he's in? Uh, Bridget Jones's Baby. I've, is, I've never seen that. It's, that. it's really good. It's pretty good? Yeah. yeah. So do you watch a lot of movies? Yeah, I do. Do you have Netflix? Yes, I watch Netflix. You watch, do you watch any shows, any TV shows? Um, I watch <coughs> Kevin. Uh, oh, yeah. Kevin came out with a new one. Kevin James? Yes. Yes, what's that That's called? That's pretty funny. Um, it's called Kevin Can't Wait. Yes. That's I've never seen it, but... That's, I, that's pretty funny. I like him. But I'm still used to the King of Queens. King of Queens. <laughs> like, yeah, my mom loves that shit. That will, ne that will never change for me. Like, I, What's his dad's name? I, Not his dad, his, uh, his father-in-law. Um, Arthur. Arthur. Yep. I love that guy. Yep. He's a riot. Yeah. That, I want to um, be like him one day. Because, that, see, that show is, is totally opposite from his new show. Yeah. Because in this one, he has... Um, Kids in this one. Oh, that's right. He had, yeah, he didn't have any kids in King of Queens. Well, he did on the last episode. Like, oh, he, he had did. Kids he had on a the baby last or something. Yeah. But yeah. Does he live in Queens or is it? Does he live in a totally different? He lives in a totally different. Different place. Yeah. And he doesn't drive like a like he a truck or something. No, nope, he's like that. um retired. He's retired. A, he's a retired um policeman. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, he's a funny guy. Yeah. He, is. he yeah I I enjoy his his comedy and his television shows and yeah I mean King King of Queens. He's a riot. Arthur lives in the basement. He's, a yeah. he's just wild, angry old old gentleman. Yeah, yeah. He's it's, it's a it's a it's a great show. I've watched. I uh, Michelle and I we we have Netflix and and we, we I love we, Netflix. Yeah, we 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 like to watch the shows and not the movies so much. But we've watched um, a bunch of different series. We've watched one called Nurse Jackie. Have you ever heard of that show? I've heard of it, but I haven't watched it. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. So that's a drama, and we watched that. Um, we watched one that's called American Crime, I think, and that was a pretty good show. Um, we've watched, you know, all the other ones too, like Breaking Bad and Dexter. And have you, and have you watched? <clears throat> I don't watch it, but um, uh, Walking Dead. I guess everyone's into that. Like, I just yeah. can't. I just can't get into that. So like, you've, so you've tried to watch it. I've tried to watch it. Just, How many episodes have you watched? Like two. You watched two. Yeah, I think there was one time, maybe a year ago or two years ago. I remember I had heard people talking about it, and so I put it on one night, and I tried. I think I may have watched like an episode or almost an entire episode, and I just felt like I was having trouble getting into it. I just, um, I might I give just it a, get into yeah, it. Yeah, I might give it another chance one day, but I, it wasn't one that really caught me to start with, you know. But but everyone's like raving about how good it is. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, yeah, I've so. heard some people talk. About, I'm trying to think of some other shows we've watched. Um, I can't think of. Uh, I like watching sketch comedy shows too. There's some a lot of British sketch comedy shows that I really enjoy. My brother Chuck enjoys those too. So sometimes when I'm talking to him, I'll say, "Oh yeah, you gotta check out, you gotta check out this this show." And so um, it's I feel like like the British humor is a little bit different than American humor. So sometimes we'll watch we'll watch shows like that. It was pretty funny a couple of weeks ago. I had um, my cousin Evan over. We were watching him, and we were watching Mickey Mouse. Clubhouse yeah. uh, is a new thing for little kids. Yeah. And I had this song stuck in my head all day. Mickey Mouse Club song? Yeah. Yeah. Is it the M-I-C-K-E-Y? Like that <laughs> yeah. song? Yeah. They used to have the Mickey Mouse Club when I was a kid, too. He got, like, all excited. <laughs> Wasn't Justin Timberlake on the Mickey Mouse Club? Yeah, the and, original one, yeah. Britney Spears and, yeah. Yeah, so my... Mickey Mouse Club. And the, um... And so that song was stuck in my head all day. Yeah. That's but. a... 
That's a catchy tune. It's no, it's funny how like all the cartoon like some of the older cartoons are coming out now. Yeah. Because um, Trolls is coming out too. Oh yeah, I saw that. I'm going to I'm going to see it tomorrow. Yep. So here's a story about trolls. You might think this is funny. When I was in sixth grade at Biddeford Middle School, you went to Biddeford Middle School, yeah. right? I was in sixth grade on Valentine's Day, right? I bought my girlfriend, um, I don't know, like a piece of chocolate or something, and it was like a box of chocolates and a card, and, or like a Valentine card. And I bought her a little troll doll, and it, <coughs> and it was like a little troll doll, and he had pink hair, you know, like bright pink like that. And remember like at the middle school, you would, you would have a locker? Yeah. And so I remember I got her locker combination from one of her friends. Um, and then I like went into her locker and I like, I like put the card and the chocolates and the troll doll there, right? Yeah. And so she came into school and she got it. And it was great, you know? I, I, you know, I, I scored some points with my girlfriend, you know? At lunchtime, because remember, remember how like, at like when you're in middle school, like nobody like, like if you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you don't actually talk to them. Like when, right. you're, when, when you're a boyfriend and girlfriend, you actually like talk to them less because you're so anxious around them. So I remember one of her friends came up to me, you know, like, oh, do you want to, you know, do you want to go out with so-and-so or do you want to? So her friend came up to me and said, oh, hey, by the way, and, I'm, and I won't name names. I'm not going to give her name away, but she was like, so-and-so doesn't want to go out with you anymore. So on Valentine's Day, she <laughs> broke up with me after I put a troll in her locker. But actually... This, this drama, so this drama, there's more to this story. So here I am, I'm eating my square pizza at lunch, a bit of a middle school, salad, pizza, you know, <laughs> enjoying my, just trying to enjoy my lunch. It was a Friday, I believe, <laughs> sixth grade, you know, I was like 11 or 12. Heartbroken, you know, tears are falling into, into the pizza. It was a mess, right? So I go to my social studies class, I'm a, I'm a mess, crying. <laughs> I'm doing one of those, you know, when you, <laughs> I was doing that. It was awful. So then, well, like an hour later, that same girl comes up to me and says, oh, by the way, so-and-so wants to go out with you again. And I was like, oh, okay, great. <laughs> I'm an idiot, right? I'm a total fool, because I take the bait, and I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll go out with her again. So I, now here I am thinking everything's good, right? It's the same day. Uh, same day, Valentine's Day, 1993, 1990. This is a true story. I, I know I'm, I can make things up and I'm a little, little, uh, little you know, creative with it. This is absolutely <laughs> a true story. So now it's like afternoon time. I've cried in, on my pizza. You know, she has the troll doll still in hand, but now I'm going back out with her because I said, sure. <laughs> the bell rings. We walk out to wait for the bus, right? I'm waiting for the bus. I'm going to go home, you know, going to have a good weekend, right? Friend comes up to me and says, she doesn't want to go out with you anymore. She broke up with me twice on Valentine's Day. And it was at that point when I was 12 years old that I realized that if I can, if I can go through that, I can go through anything. That's yeah. crazy. That's a true story. That is absolutely a true story. And this is the friend telling you that the whole time that she'd go out with you and then... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like the girl, like the girl who I... Again, uh, well, okay. I'll give the initials. S.C. <laughs> Her initials were SC. So, so the girl never um, like talked to me during the day, and I never, of course, talked to her because I was too anxious. I was so anxious around girls. Oh my god! Uh, but her her friend her friend's name was Stacy. Her friend's name uh, her friend came up to me and, and and broke the news to me every time, and so she broke up with me twice on Valentine's Day. And she kept the troll doll. I, I was a paper boy, right? <laughs> I don't know if you know. I don't even think they have paper boys anymore. But when I was delivering the Journal I don't think Tribune, they have paper boys anymore. yeah, when I was delivering the Journal Tribune back in like '93, I wasn't raking in the dollar bills. I wasn't making a lot of money, and so to go out and buy a oh, I think I bought her like a like a cassette tape too. So you know, troll doll, card, chocolates, cassette tape. You know, it, that probably cost me like six bucks, six or seven dollars. In those days, that was like a million dollars, and so I was out of. Cassette tape and chocolates and a troll doll. It was a, it was a rough day in 1993, <laughs> Valentine's was, Day. Especially on Valentine's Day. Uh, just, it was, it was when you're supposed tough. to like, give candy. And uh, you know, I was thinking maybe she'd give me a kiss that day. You know, I was like excited maybe, you know, maybe today's the day she gives me a kiss. You know? <laughs> no, it, was, it, was a rough, it was a rough day. And of course, my friends, right, they're, they just make fun of me. You know, they're just making fun of me. They, they, th they thought it was a riot. Inside, like inside, I was heartbroken. 
Yeah, you should never get broken up on holiday. <laughs> no. That's just wrong. I, I would agree. Yeah. <laughs> That's just wrong in the, yeah. in the books. How did we get to talking about that? Oh, because you the brought troll up trolls. Troll movie. The troll movie. Yeah, and I thought of the troll doll. Yeah. Yeah, they have the new troll movie coming out with yeah. uh, Justin Timberlake. Yeah, so. He's, he's the voice of one of them. Yeah. I'm not sure which one, but. Yeah, so I won't be going to see that movie <laughs> because it brings up too many bad memories about troll dolls. <laughs> But, speaking of Justin Timberlake, there's a song that, and I don't listen to pop radio all that much, but there's a song that I hear, what's his song that plays on the radio sometimes? It's a new dance one. It's yeah, I like it. It's catchy. And I listen to it all the time, and I can't think. I don't know what it's called, but I like it. It's catchy. I can't, and I, say, I sing in the car all the time. Like, yeah. I literally He's sing in the car all the time. He, ha he has some good tunes. He has some catchy tunes. And then you should hear it when Andy Graham comes on the radio, I'm like, turn it off. I, so, what's his song again? What's his popular song? Honey, I'm good. Honey, I'm good. All right, I'll. What station does he like? Ninety-seven nine. Ninety-seven nine. All right, I'll keep. I'll keep my ears. Open. Yeah. I'll send you a link. <laughs> I'll be like, yes. Here's. <laughs> well, I'm sure I can. Yeah, find him on online too. Andy Grammer. Yeah, I listen to the old stuff. Bruce Springsteen. Uh, the Dave Matthews Band. Beatles. Stuff. Yeah, sometimes Beatles. The Bee Gees. So there, there's a. So you said Andy. Andy, Gra Andy Grammer, right? Yes. There was a, th so there was Andy Gibb, you know Andy Gibb? No, was he, he was, an actor? No, no, Andy Gibb, he passed away a long time ago, but his brothers were, there was four brothers, Andy was, was the fourth brother, the youngest, and, but, the, but the other Gibb brothers, they, were, they made up the Bee Gees, and the Bee Gees have some good tunes. Andy Gibb, he had a solo career, I think, for a little while, and he has a couple catchy tunes, so I like, yeah. But yeah, I, lo I love the Beatles. I mean, not the Beatles, but I love the, I love the Bee Gees. They would wear shirts, like their chest hair would be you know, they have big, big puffy hair. Did you have posters? Pro the Steve pro probably, probably would like that. Yeah. Did you have posters in your room? Of the Bee Gees? Yeah. No, because the Bee Gees were even before my time. So like when I was in like high school, my friends were listening to rap and I was like listening to the Jackson 5 and the Bee Gees and the Beatles. And um, so my musical taste, I feel like, is, is even a little bit before my, before my time. Um, I never really got big into the into rap music or um, like the pop music and stuff like that. I, I like more of the older stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, it's funny how like, because I used to listen to like 90, like 90 Degrees and 90 Backstreet degrees. Boys. Yeah. And, Backstreet. But it's funny how all this new stuff's coming out, like all this new rap stuff. It's yeah. like, where's all the older stuff? Well, yeah, and it's funny too that you think that Backstreet Boys and 90 Degrees, like that to you is the old stuff. Yeah. For me, that's like stuff that came out when I was in college, you know? So to me, like the old stuff is like, I don't even know, like some of the 80s music, you know, like the 80s stars and the, yeah. So like Michael Jackson and, yeah, um, and Bon Jovi and Kiss and Poison and, yeah, a bunch <laughs> of those bands, yeah. Yeah, good times. Music is fun. Yeah. Music is good. I like music. I like to dance to music. Yeah, yeah, dancing's fun. That's one thing. I don't know if you if you knew this, but I'm actually a pretty good dancer. <laughs> you are. Sometimes my girlfriend and I will get invited to go to to go to weddings, and we love to dance. Like this past summer, we went to we went to Dallas, Dallas, Texas, for a wedding, and we were just tearing up the dance floor. That's cool. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't think we have any weddings coming up. You do the? Did you do the shuffle or what? What's the one they do in the Texas? It's not it's not the shuffle. It's oh, like. No. It's like a famous one they do in Texas. Rodeo? Yeah, the rodeo. I think, that was, yeah, I I don't think know. it's the rodeo. It's probably, right? The rodeo, yeah. No, so we, yeah, we like to dance. Yeah, she thinks it's funny that I, because I, because like when she first met me, she, she never would have thought that I like to dance, but I, I like to dance. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, I got some moves. I learned it back in sixth grade. Back. <laughs> well, what happened was in sixth grade when my girlfriend broke up with me on Valentine's Day, I needed an outlet. <laughs> I needed an outlet, so I... You know, I spent a lot of uh, days in my bedroom just crying, and, and I was a mess, and so I, I would spend time working on some dance moves. Yep. So that's, that's, that's where I developed a lot of my, a lot of my dance moves. Yep. Are you excited for Thanksgiving to come up? I am. Is that, like, your favorite holiday? I think it is, actually. Yeah, I think it is, because it's, it's, um, it's, a, it's a holiday where there's really, you don't have to, buy stuff it's not about it's not commercialized really it's just you you go you have something to eat you you have a piece of pie you watch some football so it's kind of relaxed it's more about like the company that you spend with as opposed to oh you know look at the look at the new gadget i got or look at my new toy or, or vacation it's really about just kind of spending time with with people that you like so 
Yeah. What's your favorite pie to eat? Uh, I like pecan pie. I don't say pecan pie. I feel like people who say pecan pie, that just sounds weird, right? Uh, I, don't like that. I like apple pie. Apple pie is pretty good. You put ice cream on it? Yeah. What kind of ice cream? Vanilla. Vanilla ice cream. You ever take Romo to get an ice cream? <laughs> yes. You guys ever do that? Yes. It's, it's pretty fun to watch dogs eat ice cream. Yeah. Sometimes we take Frank to get a little vanilla cone. Vanilla? Yeah. And it's funny, too, because we'll, like, wait in line, right? We'll wait in line. There's, it'll be July. There's, there's 20 people in line. We're waiting in line. We got Frank. We get up there. Girl or guy takes our order. Oh, we'll have one small vanilla <laughs> cone, please. And then she's, like, expecting something else. That's it. And then we go. We get the cone. And we give it to Frank. And we don't even get ice Like, we don't even get ice cream. We just watch Frank eat it. <laughs> And then we're like, wasn't that fun? We're crazy. Like, we're, we're not well. We're, we're not well. Yeah. We do, some, we do some fun things. We go for walks all the time, hikes. Yeah. Dogs, I just love dogs. I just love Romo. Like, I don't know. The best. You yeah, ever have Romo on set here? Yeah. yeah okay. A few times. Would he just sit here or does he kind of roam around? He would around? just He'll just sit, sit with here. You? Yeah. yeah. Frank wouldn't do that. Frank would be, because he's a beagle, so he'd be... You know, he'd be climbing in, into things. He'd be using his nose to try to find snacks. <laughs> he'd be, that cake would be all over the place, be all over the table. He'd eat it, be on his ears. and Yeah, he'd be, he's always trying to find snacks. He's very, very um, determined to find snacks. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on the Awesome Ashley Show. Absolutely. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And 100 shows. And 100 shows. That's crazy. I can't believe I did it. <laughs> Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Oh, 100 shows. <laughs> I hope you get to do 100 more. Thank you. Great job, Ashley. Great job. Thank you so much, fans, Ashley for watching the show. I really so appreciate awesome all your support and all the, um, for enjoying my show. And thank you back there, Steve and Steve, and for everyone that helps out. Thank you so much. Bye. See you. So I wrote her a song for her awesome